Kiki had her hands up on the door and I'm like, Kiki, stop whining. And I look over. She has a nasty. Are you trying to get that bug? Are you trying to get that bug, Kiki? Do you want me to knock it down for you, Kiki? <laughs> oh, God. Get it. Get it. Get it. Now it's going to get lost in the brown abyss of the floor. I'd rather it not escape. Kiki killed it. See, get that spider. She's protecting her mummy from the bugs. You looking for more buggies? You got him, Kiki. He's gone. Anyway, so it's Monday morning and there's this new set of cards, Pokemon cards, coming out today. And Jacob and I agreed yesterday that we would go to the mall when it opens. And um, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I, wo I remembered it when I woke up, but I thought it was later when I woke up. So luckily I woke up at a decent time and remembered right away. Otherwise I would have just got a text from, no, well no. I wouldn't have even really got a text from Jacob because my phone was on silent, so even if he did text me, I wouldn't know. <laughs> so, um, I'm glad I got up in time to, like, shower and stuff. Kind of got ready. I mean, I really just brushed out my hair, but it's got some curl from yesterday, so it looks okay. It's just kind of messy. But, um, yeah, we're going to go to Timmy's for breakfast, and then once the mall opens, go get some Pokemon cards. Because normally we do our Sunday hangouts, but I mean, yesterday was the concert, and then the Sunday before that was Valentine's Day, so it feels like it's been forever since I've seen Jacob. Anyway, I gotta get going. What shoes do I want? Maybe it's, oh, I love this backpack purse. Oh my god. I was so obsessed with it because it's exactly what I wanted, and it looks awesome. And backpack purses are so convenient. It's a little bit annoying when you go to take something out of the purse. You're like, oh, just sling it off your back, but you're, I don't know, you have your arms free. It's so great. I love backpack purses. If they're cool looking ones like this one. None of that drawstring crap. I don't like those drawstrings. So we went to EB Games to get the cards and they said they hadn't gotten them in or something. The staff seemed really confused about them. But for some reason they had one of them under the counter, like saving it for themselves. But they were saying that they either didn't get any in or like maybe they're just all being reserved for pre-orders, which is weird because you didn't know you could pre-order Pokemon cards. What? So they said they just got a big shipment in and they're like, well, if you come back later in the day, once we open the shipments, like we might have them, but they also might just be gone right away, right? If they don't have that many. So now we're at Toys R Us looking around because supposedly it's um, EB Games exclusive, but we don't know for sure. They totally rearranged this. They had like an electronic section, which is where the Pokemon cards were. Now they're just in like this stand in the middle of the aisle. Oh, this could be temporary till they like sort more of it. Well, it's mostly sorted. It just looks ugly because the wall got torn down. <coughs> is there any of this that I don't want? I mean, I've been kind of eyeing up this set for a while. Looks like they still have some Pokemon card stuff in this area. Maybe they're still in the process of sorting it. Okay, I just forget which ones I have now though. And because I have like multi-packs, so like this one looks great to me, but I'm like, do I already have most of these? Like, it's hard to know. Plus there's three different sizes for each character. So I'm like, well, maybe I have Marie, but maybe I don't have small Marie. I might have to come back after I actually open the ones I have. I do potentially want to get more of these though. I wonder how much these cost here. $4.99. Wait, weren't they $4.99 in the States? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> score. Nice. I was expecting like $5.99 or even $6.99. It's the same price as in the US, but our dollar is so much weaker. <laughs> how many should I? There's also Num Noms. I've seen other uh, toy channels open those, and those are super cute, so I kind of want some of those too. If they have baskets, I need a basket. Maybe I should just get a whole cart if they don't have a basket. Hello. Here's the big sets. I think I have this one with Elsa. And this... No. I don't have the one with Sebastian, but I might have a very similar set. See, I don't remember now. Sebastian's new for series. <coughs> no, it's still series one, it's just new, which confuses me. 
Okay, anyway, I'll come back to this in a sec. Let me find a basket. Friday, Saturday, Sunday only. Get it half price. Oh, well, that was yesterday. But isn't that kind of cool? I mean, I probably wouldn't get it anyway, but that's pretty cool. So they have some frozen Little Kingdoms, but I already have, they only have two, and I have both of these. There's gotta be more. Wait, do I have Ariel? Shoot. I think I do. I have Ariel and I have Tiana. Look at this. Look at this cuteness. Is, is, am I crazy or is this new? I don't, I think it is with Aurora. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this version of Aurora before. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, okay, did they change Merida or is that just what she's been like? Okay, Tinkerbell is stinking cute even though I'm not like the biggest Tinkerbell fan. Like, I've always thought Tinkerbell's cute but just not one of my top things, but that... <laughs> That is so cute, and the way her belly like sticks out from the ruffles. Okay, that's adorable. That's adorable. Pocahontas. There's not enough Pocahontas merch. Just like Lilo. Look at this. Oh, and there's Olaf. I didn't even notice Olaf at first. This is at the Swarovski store. So pretty. All right. <laughs> now we're at Hot Topic. I don't think they have it. I'm looking for the Disney Princess, the Funko Mystery Minis. I never have them. Today's haul. I finally found season four Shopkins. So I got four of those, just because the, the place I got them at, they were really expensive, so I just got four. Got the Num Nums, like you saw. Some Series 1 Amiibo cards. I got five in total, I think. There's more back there. And a little Chewbacca. And now we're just kind of waiting because those Pokemon cards boxes are supposed to come out today. It even says on the signs in Eevee Games that it comes out today, but they're not in yet. But they have, like, they got a shipment in. They just haven't unpacked everything, so they may or may not have them. So they said to call back around one or two. So now we're just kind of playing the waiting game. Right, Kinky? So, um, well I guess first I'll just mention that my Tsum Tsum subscription box came and I'm excited because I think it came earlier than last time. It's a little bit sad because I see other YouTubers opening them up before mine's even gotten to the US address. <laughs> I just make sure not to watch those videos, but um, yeah, anyway, so mine came in and I looked at it and it's super cute. So expect to see that in an upcoming video. And Jacob's been phoning around different EB game stores. None of them have had the cards, but finally um, one said they have them. So we're going to go there and um, get them. And then that's cool because it gives us an option to, like, if I want a second one. I don't know why I'm still crouching like this. <laughs> if I want a second one, I can um, go to a near, like, a closer store. Let's get a second box. Boop, boop. The adventure continues. So it was a success. We each got two. <laughs> they, I'm glad they didn't impose a limit or anything, and then I got a little poster with it. So I thought I could use that for the backdrop for the video. I just keep forgetting it's in there and I'm crushing it. But, uh, yeah, actually, here, let me give you guys a good view of the box and what it is, just so you know what it is we are hunting after. <laughs> so every month they're going to be releasing a different set and this month is the Mew set and that's why there was the Mew event Pokemon and so it comes with a pin then the Mew promo card and then two of these packs and you can't get the pack separately you have to get them in this set which is a little frustrating because then you you're paying for the Mew pin and card a second time it kind of sucks but um, and because they're so expensive here in Canada they're like 13 bucks in the US and here they're 20 so Anyway, that's what it is. So I got two and I'll be opening those up on my toy channel. So I'm excited. And depending how much I like the cards, I might try to get my hands on another one. We'll see. I don't want to go crazy on these because they're expensive. All right, we're now in Steveston where they film Once Upon a Time. They've got the set set up and like currently are setting stuff up for filming. 
and it's I've never been here when they've set up for the underworld scene so checking it out so for example this sign is all icky and gross like different than how it usually looks and the library is all boarded up and the clock tower is supposed to be on the ground they're just working on it right now so it's not actually there yet but they're putting it together they're like shoveling and doing all the broken pieces of road and stuff another change is Mr. Gold's sign is all busted up that one looks normal it's Storybrooke coffee they have regular coffee in the underworld I guess <laughs> here's Emma's buggy it's destroyed. I should do a spoiler warning or something for people. Cool. I will. I'll put like, I'll insert. It's not really a spoiler. If you're caught up, you know they're going to the underworld, but yeah. Wait, what was it before? Um, Sorry? A hardware, hardware store. And then a candlestick, or then a um, shoe store. And a shoe store. Right, and now it's candlestick. Does that have to do with the story, or they just wanted to change it? They just wanted to change it. Okay. And here's Granny's, which is an actual little cafe. The indoor set is different than what's actually in there. It's like a studio set and it's not actually in that building. This is always my favorite building because I think it looks so pretty. And this one's always like that, right? They don't put a face on it, it's always here. It always says Storybrooke. So pretty, I like it. We're just chilling out on the docks now. It's such a pretty place. Wait, am I zoomed in? Yes, yes I am, okay. <laughs> so I was like, why does it look shut down? Such a nice day too, and there's that slight breeze right now. It's like, oh, refreshing. I hope this sounds okay, because it's pretty windy. <laughs> Extra grippy, from when it's wet. Feels like it's gonna cut through my shoes. <laughs> Now we're at Ikea since we were in Richmond it was like why not because I've been wanting this glass shelving system from Ikea for a while. This is my second time ever at an Ikea, first time here at this location because I went to one in Calgary a few years back I think. This is my first time I'm actually shopping for myself. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. I mean it's Ikea, it's what it is but. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. It's actually wider than I thought it was. That's good. There's lots of space in there. I almost wish you could put in extra shelves, maybe. Like, my gym shore figures aren't very tall, but I know some, like, Loki's tall. So that'll be good. There's also these. These are weird, though. It's, like, metal. And it's more expensive. Oh, well, this one's kind of neat. Mmm. It's more expensive, but it's neat. It's bigger. I've seen these online. Um, I don't like the yellow. If it came in other colors, then maybe. It's expensive though. <laughs> I like how this is just open. My problem with this one is the big yellow bars in the middle. I like how this is more just displaying something. I don't like the wood though. So picky. Ooh. Display boxes. Or there's this. It's this, like again, this kind of blocks your view, but it looks nice. Ooh, and this has like a lot of short shelves for like gym shores and stuff. That would be nice. <coughs> this thing is beautiful and like Jacob was saying, just put in like unopened blind bags and like store all my toy room stuff. This would not really fit in there unless I totally use the back wall for storage and not for filming. This is so fun. Looking at all the things. It's like internet shopping but in real life. These are all pretty nice, but they're so dark. You'd for sure have to put lights inside there, but I don't have to like, turn lights on and off. <laughs> Maybe this is just a dark corner of the store, but it feels dark. Like you can't even see inside it, you just see reflection of yourself. <sighs> this thing is beautiful. White is nice for being bright, for seeing your stuff. Like the light reflects off here and can shine everywhere and light up your things. How much is that thing? 150 because that would be like a replacement for the other the smaller one I don't know if I need something that big yet but I want this for my own records <coughs> this Billy more 
We're living. You don't even have to get it with the doors. I probably would. Like, that's my thing is I want glass doors so cats don't get my stuff. And keep dust out just for, like, displaying collectibles. I do want something for the toy room, though. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I want. This is going to go in my... If I get this today, I'm going to put it in my art room. I don't know what color... I think I was thinking of going white furniture in the toy room. So, like a white shelf or something. Even something like this is fine. I mean, I, maybe something wider or get two of these. I don't know. I don't know. I have a dark bookcase, the white bookcase, and the glass thingy. Yeah. Yeah. We were just going down the elevator to the parking lot and I realized I forgot my phone because I set it down. Like, I took pictures of the tags to know where they were in the warehouse. And so I kept checking my phone and setting it on a shelf when we went to grab a box and I think I left it on a shelf. So, I'm going back for it. <sighs> Should hopefully be in this aisle. <sighs> the last thing we grabbed was the glass, which is here. <laughs> Update. So we got back. We dropped off our, well, my shelving stuff. All the Ikea stuff that Midna is guarding for me. And um, then we went to McDonald's just to pick up some food. Came back here and ate it. And uh, Jacob had to take off because he has some place to be. And now I'm gonna go finally edit yesterday's vlog. It's like 4.30. Yep, it's 4.30. <laughs> so, yeah, and Jacob opened up one of his um, Mew boxes because he's gonna keep one sealed and then he opened one. And he had EXs in both packs. I was like, eh! <laughs> So, pretty good pulls. And so I'm excited to see what I have. And so I'm really pumped over mine. And plus we had, while we were eating, we put on people like pack openings. One was someone opening the Mew box and another one was just like random cards. Anyway, so my mind is like, I don't know, I'm just like in a good happy mood. I wanna one, go edit yesterday's vlog because I'm excited because it's the Melanie footage. So I'm excited to rewatch that. And so that's what I'm gonna do first. But I'm also really excited to build this stuff we just got because that's going to help complete my art room and my toy room. It's not gonna complete it, but it's gonna help because I still want a filing cabinet for the art room and I need to put up all my picture frames and stuff. So that's kind of an extra thing that needs to be done and just general decorating in there before I, want, before I do a workstation tour. But I didn't expect to get this stuff today. We were like passing Ikea and I was like, well, while we're in Richmond, like we should swing by Ikea on the way back. And so it just worked out. So I want to build that stuff, but I also want to go film some toy videos, including opening my Mew box because I'm just so excited. My toy channel is going to be full of Pokemon card openings. I almost need, like if I was someone who posted daily on my toy channel, I would probably have a Pokemon video every single week because I just really like Pokemon. <laughs> so, yeah, and I already have a bunch of other Pokemon cards that are waiting to be opened. I have so much. It's just Pokemon addiction. Also, McDonald's, why did you give me three apple pies? I was wondering why my takeout bag was so big. I was like, man, I look like a pig. Like, Jacob has a small bag. Mine looks huge. Yeah, they put three apple pies in there. I'm like, well, I ate one, but I don't need these other ones. I'll just put them in the fridge, and maybe I'll have one later, and Christian will have one or something. <laughs> Jacob didn't want one, so I was like, this one's stuck with these. It's like their conspiracy to make everyone fat. Are you playing with all the things? She was batting around Chewbacca. Oh, your ball is in there. Oh, that was a long edit. Um, it was fun looking back on the concert footage, but oh man, and I just stood up and my lower back is like really hurting. Like it'll stop hurting and then I'll take another step and it'll be like, make me crouch a little bit in pain. Oh yeah, must not have been sitting well. Okay. I also chopped up, as you would have seen if you watched yesterday's vlog, I chopped up the footage because it was basically like a huge chunk of concert footage and I even cut out a lot of stuff. 
and then a huge chunk of me talking about the concert. So I decided to mingle the clips together. So it would be like a bit of concert footage, cut to me talking, a bit of concert footage, cut to me talking. So hopefully that turns out good. I think it's good. I need an Advil though. I have a mega headache and it's even in the back of my neck, like forehead and neck. Just, <laughs> I still feel like poo. I need some Advil. So I just wrote in my planner for most of the week. I kind of cheated today because we've already done today. <laughs> Got it all planned out. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening, cause it's already like, oh, what time is it? It's almost nine o'clock, dang it. I'm gonna watch some Teen Mom because I'm a couple episodes behind and then a new one just aired tonight. So I'm gonna watch one or two eps while tidying up some more in here. Um, I mean, I don't really want to build those things yet that are out there because that might just, I don't know, it's going to take a little while. I think I'm just going to focus more on cleaning existing mess and kind of setting stuff aside that I want to put on the, on the shelf or something like that. So just kind of do some cleaning while I watch the classic oh Kiki. Ah, she's got me. This is why I can't drink out of cups. I see where you're trying to jump, baby. Oh, you're going to have to figure it out eventually. Kiki. What's up, Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's closing. It's closing. It's closing. Give me Kiki. Okay, I'm done for the night. This might not look like a huge difference to you, but to me, this is massive. <laughs> Completely cleared out these. Uh, got crap off the floor into there. Cleaned off a ton off the desk. There's still more that needs to get put away. I was kind of rearranging these, trying to figure out how I wanted these white things, because I've hit my knee on this one a couple times, and I just realized I just wanted it pushed all the way to the side and then moved the sketchbooks and stuff up here. And hopefully that's good enough. As long as I keep my drawing mostly to this side and maybe put supplies on this side so I'm not just like kneeing everything. This area got cleared out a lot, put away stuff that was up there. I All of these were just like thrown in drawers so I sorted all of these and put those in there. Um, cleared off some stuff up here and these top two drawers were empty and now they have stuff in them. Ta -da. Oh and then some got moved to the bottom drawer because the bottom drawer only had my button press stuff. So that is the progress. And then some stuff got put away in there, but there's still more left to do. But uh, Christian just went off to go to bed, so I'm gonna go to bed too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.